Hey, Jerry Shepard, PestCemetery.com. You know, we spend a lot of time in the bathroom. So do bugs. They get in all sorts of ways, and we have infestations occur all the time in a place that we don't want any kind of insects. So, I'm going to show you classic ways insects enter your bathroom and what you can do about it. All right? Follow me, and I'll show you a couple. We all like to think of our bathrooms, our homes in general, as impenetrable fortresses. But in reality, um, the bathroom and our home is nothing more than a living, breathing object to uh, insects. It emits heat, light, air, you name it, and uh, they can find all kinds of ways. Today I've got an example of a bathroom that's being ripped apart so we can really get a good view of how insects get into our home, especially the bathroom. So here we've got a beautiful window, brand new, uh, just been put in. But you can see there are several spots all around. No, nothing's perfect in this window, although it looks good when it's all finished up and everything, but anything could fit through there. And once inside, it's anybody's guess as to if they can get out, if there's a small crack in the caulk or uh, in the uh, framework or what have you. Another classic spot is roaches and insects will come up the pipeline or follow the pipeline and then these flanges are supposed to cover that with the drywall here. Even just a little bit loose and a roach can pop up, ants all day long can come up so these flanges are perfect and that's how they get in. Following it down we can see down below there is a hole in that cement and that's so the um, pipes can come up and through the soil and insects can also dig. You can see that pipe real well. Uh, insects can also dig up underneath the slab, pop right on up and through and then they're in. If you'll notice there's a cobweb down there, there's some dead insects. They aren't down there just for uh, a nice uh, quiet place. There's bugs down there, there's food, there's life so insects can find that. Another way that insects get into your bathroom is right along the electrical lines. These will run right around the showers uh, or in the walls. And ants and roaches, even mice if it's big enough, can just make their way from one stud to the other, right on through, just about all the way through the house. And that's how they end up in the bathroom, of course, attracted by the moisture. And, um, and that can be a problem for you. Now, let's check behind this insulation. If you were to take this all the way down and go all the way to the bottom, you could stick your hand outside. Right underneath the siding is a gap. I can put my fingers up in there, then for sure any good old uh, bug can get in that way as well. He might have to wrangle a bit, but once he's in and up over the sill, he's into that expansion of the wall and all those voids. He's got his moisture. He's got room to move. He can head on up into the attic if he needs to or come out a small crack or crevice. The last and most uh, one of the most common ways for insects to get out are vents. Now, not from inside the vent per se, but from around the outside. Loose fitting vents, vents uh, on, or recessed lighting um, above a shower are perfect ways for insects to come down from the attic. So, there you have it, some of the most popular ways for insects to enter your bathroom area. Hey, this has been Jerry Shepard with PestCemetery.com. Thanks so much for enjoying my blog. See ya!